The numbers and the numbers game is very exciting to me. I'm always excited about more information and excited about what I can tease out of it. My name is Jared Ward. I run marathons for Team Saucony and I teach statistics at Brigham Young University. I started running back in high school, was recruited to run for Coach Highstone at BYU. I came to college and the BYU athletic department said, you have to choose a major. And I said, all right, put down statistics because I liked my statistics class in high school. I always looked at the math like it was useless. And I was excited when I took a statistics class in high school and thought, sweet, this is useful math. I can do something with this. I'm working with Dr. Ian Hunter, trying to see what happens over the course of a marathon and hopefully lead to some results that can help me become a better marathoner. My name is Ian Hunter. I'm a professor here at Brigham Young University teaching exercise science. The research I do is all in biomechanics. At the Olympic Trials Marathon in February last year, we got this huge data set that we needed some help with. Now Jared, being an expert in statistics, was able to take those data and interpret them. All of the data that I can collect on myself, training and resting and how I feel, and my diet and my weight, leads into what I think I'm ready for on race day and it all fuels that race strategy. I did a thesis on optimal pace strategy in the marathon. Every once in a while the research does surprise you. And what we've learned you know, from his data from the Olympic trials in the marathon was that the faster runners maintain more consistent mechanics. The better runners did a much better job at starting more conservative relative to their average pace and taking advantage of downhill portions of the race. We're able to work together where I can do some measurements on things he's interested in and then he can apply his statistics knowledge to what we learn. He's been an incredible support, collaboration, and helping me find relevant research and collect data that I'm interested in looking at and has really fueled that research interest for me. Doc has really been a mentor that way as well. You know, I look at stuff from the research that says you need to be able to run down a hill fast. So get ready for that. Getting in the weight room and doing these heavy squats getting on hills and running uphill and downhill to help prepare your body to be able to handle running a faster pace downhill. We come up with a race plan. It's built on how the training's gone and what the data says and how warm it's going to be on race day and what the terrain's like. I do get very particular about some of those data points. Sometimes I get a glazed over look from my wife when I come home so excited to talk about what I've learned from some data set with some complicated model. But it's kind of cool when the research, you learn something new. That's exciting. The data drives the preparation and the race plan, and I think it's the competitive nature that drives the actual performance day. I went into Rio feeling grateful to be there and left feeling like I belonged there. So next for me is the Boston Marathon, and I'm thrilled to have the chance to run that course for the first time. I feel so blessed to have so much in my life that I love. You know, it's hard to call running or academics work to me. It's all a hobby. You know, I'm excited to just have the chance to keep on rolling, keep finding stuff that I'm excited about. The hope is that the research benefits runners uh, of all ability levels and hopefully keep changing the running world one paper at a time.